Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Government House. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here today to uh, uh, help the opposition leader uh, take his new role in 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 his party and uh, within the House of Assembly. And also, we're going to be uh, taking the first step to appointing three new senators who sat over here on the sofa as well. Uh, I'd like to start off by uh, asking Mr. Bean to come up and join me while we uh, sign his instrument of appointment. So the, the, the document I've just signed says, Know you that it is my opinion, the Acting Governor and Commander-in-Chief, that you, the said Mark Allen Raoul Bean, a member of the House of Assembly, are the person who would be acceptable as opposition leader to a majority of the members of that House in opposition to the Government, and that in exercise of the power conferred upon me by Section 72 of the Constitution, I, the Acting Governor and Commander-in-Chief, do hereby appoint you, the said Mark Allen Raoul Bean, to be the Opposition Leader of Bermuda. Congratulations. Now, would you like to, would the prospective Senators like to join us up here while I... For, fill in the documents for them too. Congratulations. Congratulations. <coughs> Congratulations. Now, opposition leader, would you care to say a few words to the media, with your senators? Thank you, Acting Governor. Good afternoon to friends, family, and my colleagues. This is an honor and privilege for myself to assume the role of opposition leader. And in so doing, I'd like to acknowledge all the previous leaders of the Progressive Labour Party, those who I have in particular had an opportunity to listen, observe, and learn from. Al Frederick Wade, Dame, Dame Lois Brown Evans, Dame Jennifer Smith, Mr. Alex Scott, Dr. Ewart Brown, and Madam Paula Cox. Each one of those leaders have provided me with knowledge and wisdom in which I will seek to apply in my role as the opposition leader and leader of the Progressive Labour Party. I'm very grateful uh, for the opportunity to announce and appoint three very capable persons to the Senate. I think they will make a formidable team. That's our Senate leader, Mr. Diallo Rabin, uh, Senator Renee Ming, and Senator Mark Daniels. In fact, I think this is an occasion where I will allow them to speak to you. But before I 
I'll complete my words. I'd like to also publicly send my condolences on behalf of the Progressive Labour Party and everyone in Bermuda to MP Michael Weeks and Ms. Terry Leon Doyle, the parents of Malik Weeks, who tragically lost his life yesterday in a bike accident. As a result, for me, this occasion is very much subdued, notwithstanding the fact that it's also a momentous occasion for uh, the newly appointed senators. But rest assured, my mind and my heart is very much with MP Weeks and his lovely wife, Cindy, in what is obviously the most devastating of times. All in all, I'd like for everyone to enjoy the new year and be prepared to work diligently in the upcoming parliamentary session. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming out. Uh, to the acting governor, to his excellency, to my party leader. I am very, I am very happy to be here to, today to stand before you as the newly appointed uh, opposition leader of the Senate. This is something that I, uh, I, this is something that I will look forward to doing and I have a capable team that we expect to do great things in the Senate as we work dilig diligently for not only the Progressive Labor Party but for the people of Bermuda. When I, was, uh, when I was called by Mr. Bean, and I told him that, you know, I have just over a year of experience in the Senate, he said, don't worry about that, Diallo. I'll be, I'll be behind you 100%, and you always have me to lean on. And with that, that is all that I needed to hear. And I graciously accepted this appointment, and I look forward to doing the work of the people of Bermuda. Thank you. Good morning. We've protocol already been established. I'd first of all like to thank my constituents in constituency number two in the last general election for all the support that I received. Thank you very much. At this time, though, I'd also like to thank the Honorable Mark Bean for um, just this, giving me this position, offering to me know that I'm capable and willing to work for the people of Bermuda. My background is a real of service. Having served as a common counselor in the Corporation of St. George, and also an alderman, I look forward to serving the people of Bermuda and continuing to serve the people of St. George's in the Royal in the Senate. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. To His Ex Excellency, who is not here today, but the acting governor, thank you. To the Honorable Mr. Bean, to all of my colleagues, family, friends, media present today, I am truly humbled. I am grateful for the opportunity to put myself forward in service to this country. It brings me great pride to stand before you today in the hopes of trying to make a difference to our local politics and hopefully our, our scope on the international scale and the global scene. I'm most grateful to be here and I look with great pride to the work that is about to come. I look forward to the opportunity and the responsibility. I'm most grateful for the confidence that has been put forward in me and I look forward to the team that I'm about to work with. And so I give thanks today and every day going forward. Many thanks. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That draws the uh, ceremonies here to a close, but do feel free to hang around. We have some refreshments at the back of the room for you. Thank you. Yes, I'm confident, but that's not our primary focus. The primary focus is uh, rebuilding the structure of the Progressive Labour Party to not only make us a viable government in waiting, but when we do become government again, we expect to lead and set the tone for a higher standard of governance. So there's much work to be done, and we'll be taking it on a day-by-day, step-by-step process. Now the PLP is in the opposition, how will the PLP be different as an opposition force uh, than the UBP when it was an opposition, for example? The, the UBP and the PLP should not and cannot be compared. Um, both come from a different context that merge within the political realm. 
obviously we are no longer the government and we have a role to be or to offer checks and balances to the proposals and legislation that will be put forward uh, by the One Bermuda Alliance government. Notwithstanding that, we will seek to safeguard the interests of Bermudians, uh, first and foremost, but at the same time, we're not going to take a position of just blocking legislation for the sake of blocking it. If there is legislation that we see ultimately benefits everyone in the country, we will be supportive. Likewise, because we have a 17-seat uh, persons in the House, you can also expect us to be proactive and look to present our own legislation in an effort to work towards uh, unity uh, within the parliamentary body. Any other questions? Any questions for the Senate? No? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Congratulations again.